like to uh, give you a warm welcome to our 112th Utah State Amateur Breakfast of Champions. I have the pleasure of introducing our keynote speaker this morning. Uh, we're very fortunate to have Dan Forsman with us. We're very uh, fortunate that the Champions Tour had a break this week. Uh, I think he enjoyed uh, the title of father and caddy the last two days. Uh, his son Thomas competed with us here. Um, and so I'm sure that that was just a true joy to, to be with him going around Alpine, the 112th Utah State Amherst. Okay, so here we are, 2010, 112 running of the State Amateur Championship. What a tradition, and uh, Thomas continues that tradition as the executive director here, and uh, I, I've been impressed. To... So, feel the dreams. If you build it, they will come. Well, the UGA's built it. 112 years they've built it, and you've all come. 700 of you. All of you love the game of golf, and you're here, and you're competing, and it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. I just want to commend all of you on uh, what, is a, what is an exciting day, uh, exciting next three days. And I hope as you guys go forward today, you'll go out there with the spirit of enjoy this every bit of it, and give it everything you've got. I've had some very good luck at Alpine. I love the golf course. It's always in fantastic condition. I have good memories. I remember all those matches and most of the shots. I mean, if, if you have to win or are going to win one tournament, it's a state amateur. You know, it's just a great tournament. The UGA does a super job. And, you know, the UGA has done great things and made great strides in making it a great championship. When I started off competing in the Utah State Amateur, I didn't think I'd ever achieve that. You don't realize the tradition of it until you until you win the tournament and become a champion. Parkinson four, Mr. Gold five, Mr. Parkinson is three up. That three wood that uh, Joe played there on 17 is one of the finest three woods in the history of Utah amateur golf. What an incredible play. Uh, Mr. Parkinson three, Mr. Gold six, Mr. Parkinson is one up. of the 112th Utah State Amateur, a, a young man that you all know very well, a young man that really took advantage of this week. Uh, I'm sure you all know that Joe was not in the field the night before we started. He got in the morning of on Wednesday as an alternate when we had an exempt player withdraw. Uh, makes for quite a story. It feels so good with my game right now. Um, it's probably the best I've ever felt with it before. I, I just can't tell you how special it is. I mean, it's... 
you know, it's just something that, that a lot of dads don't get the opportunity to, to do. And I'm just thankful that I've had this chance. You know, he's a great kid. He works hard, he deserves it. Joe is a great guy. Uh, Joe's going to be a great champion. Um, it, his perseverance really shined through this week. I mean, just you look at a player that didn't qualify, and he came out here and got in as an alternate and took advantage of the situation. He played some great matches, played some great players, and uh, we couldn't be happier to have him on that trophy with those other names. What does the title of champion mean? It means for that moment, that tournament, that day, you were the best. Surround yourself with good people who've given you great counsel, helped you establish those steps along the way, which enabled you to get to that point and become that champion.